The new guidelines subject to review include non ghanaians traveling to Ghana with fake vaccination certificates to be quarantined and returned to the point of embarkation at their own cost. Also, airlines which transport passengers not fully vaccinated, especially from China, without valid negative COVID-19 PCR test result to be surcharged. In addition, passengers would also be randomly selected and tested on arrival. We have cases been increasing, UK, US, South Korea, Taiwan, and then including China. So we are assuming that travelers from China are a threat. And we try to say that we are ignoring their perceived protection and then testing them. If you look at our current protocol, if you are vaccinated, it's assumed that you are kind of free. But here we are assuming that you are still at risk, so we'll test you. So for this early stage, the cost be borne by the government. We want to get till these threats. So assuming we look at the data, everything that after a week, we think it's fine. We'll get revert back to our normal. Some countries have already imposed restrictions on travelers from China following the surge in that country's COVID-19 infections after it rolled back its stringent zero-COVID policy. The policy allows persons to freely travel out of the country, but not otherwise. Ghana is the latest to review its guidelines, which affect travelers from China and beyond. This month we have a lot of foreigners, we have a lot of travel, a lot of uh, base activity going on. So we are still watching. Uh, the cases hasn't really increased much. But what we are doing as a state is we are still pushing our vaccination campaign. Next week, we're going to have another campaign. You know, we have 100 for the SMAS. We had about 1.5 million people vaccinated. We're still going to do another one, hopefully next week or next or two. Passengers who test positive on arrival will be required to self-isolate while the general public is being encouraged to vaccinate.